I live here. Man DVD Cartoon Classics George, which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> Silly. 
We ran out of gas. Yeah. You know how it is with these A cards. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the Tree Little Pigs building their respective houses. Thank you. 
Queen's music was. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we flain, listen to the whip wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Blue Danube. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. 
$152.50. You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, 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 cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck, duck. for this week, Robespierre. You have insulted me. We meet on the field of onion. Okay, we'll 
pay. We'll pay. Let me see now. How much was it? How much? Souls to an American. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P U. Pimento U, oh sweet P U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out tea. and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <coughs> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover boys in the Everglades. And uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they're off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's Female Academy close by. 
with their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. Another rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. Little do they know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan backslide the former sneak of Rookford Hall, coward bully cad and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover boys squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover boys. Dread them. Double dread them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! <laughs> Confound them. <coughs> Found them! But let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, Five, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! Over here! Over here! Over here! In here! No, no, in here! No, in here! Over oh, here! Over 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 then Dora must be alone and unprotected! A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? 
It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry, carry away with Tavern Upper Bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote, help! Unquote. Signed, Dora. 35 cents collect. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Freddy Cat, this is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Get away! I'll moitalize him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take I'll it easy! I'll show him! Why does he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott! Don't push come me! On, come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get hydrophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come. Don't, up, don't up, push up, me. Oh, come don't. On. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the haze office would only let me, I'd give him the boy, all right.
Bobbitt. I'm just no good. Oh, the brakes were against you. I'm a flopper -o. I can't even get the boy. Don't worry. You'll get it, all right. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. Well, that sure takes a load off of my mind. Clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Get no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Ah. Uh -huh. 
what a place, what a place. Why, it's as pretty as a picture. But if I ever told my favorite wife the awful truth, I'd land right on the front page. Yes, sir, read Bobby. Cigars, cigarettes, bots. Oh, hello, Gailey. I sure I'll buy some of your cigarettes. You got a light, kid? Hello, Anne. How's the oomph girl tonight? Oomph, 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 oomph. Oomph. Good evening, Miss Rand. Listen, you mugs. This job is plenty risky, get me? You gotta be tough guys to go through with it. Because if you get caught, you take the rap alone, see? Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's try it. Mugs. Come on, come on. One tie, all tie. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all enjoying this little hoedown. Comes now a bit of the... Get away from me, boys, you bother me. Here comes now a bit of the dance. And if you'll all gather around, Brother Stokotsky will give out with the helping of that South American jive. Laconga to be exact, so make it mellow, fella. Jimmy, that rhythm does something to me. Let's dance. Will you, please? All uh, uh, sir, it's not that I don't want to, you understand? It's, uh, it's on account of that, oh, uh, she was, I don't know any of these modern steps here. Oh, come on, Jimmy, please. For me? Oh, sir, I, uh, uh, oh, heck, I guess I might as well try it. I can't lose my to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. Don't go away, folks. This ought to be good. Comes now the feature attraction of the evening. Uh, keep moving, boys. I'll see you at the track. Comes now the feature attraction of the evening, Miss Sally Strand and her bubble dance. Now, if you boys will put away your bean shooters, we'll get on with the show. I have a 
haven't seen such a beautiful bubble since I was a child. a few words, see? I've been chasing you all night. Now, how about a little kiss, baby? Well, fancy meeting you here.
Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp fortune hog? Did Dale Gould and me quack quits when engine saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. Don't give up. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No. It's Super American. A dream. It was all a dream. Yes. Next time you dream, include us out. That's all, folks. is John McRoger, Airman First Class. That blissful smile on John's face is because John has reached the end of his first hitch, and John is getting out. He is now contemplating the advantages that all civilians take for granted, like a solid gold jagalack, a penthouse overlooking the river, a good job, 
and a beautiful wife. And to pants to send home to me wife, poor wife, no cares have I to grieve me, no pretty little coil to deceive me. Uh oh, happy here it comes, a message. As we go rolling, hi Mac, rolling home. Name is Grogan, technical gremlin, voice class. Yeah, yeah, I know, and you're here to show me why I should re-enlist about all the multitudinous advantages accruing to the re-enlistee. Look, Buster, I don't know what all the trick sarcasm is about, but I'm getting out of this man's Air Force. Capital O, capital U, capital T. Out! Hey, you getting out too? Wait, that's different. Let's pick up our discharge papers together, uh, buddy. Are you kidding? Why, the minute they start talking to you, you'll go all soft and sign up again. But I... Shut up. Sit down. Honest, I've been dreaming about getting out ever since I got in. All these guys are the same. Pushovers. Wild blue yonder pushovers. I don't know why I'm so soft-headed, but I guess I gotta brief this character so he won't be a patsy and get talked back in. <laughs> These G.I. magic wands, always fouled up. Later, later. Now then, the first thing they're gonna try to do they're gonna try to tell you how much better off you'll be staying in the Air Force. Okay, just for the record, let's take a look. That's you, and that's your re-enlistment paycheck. Airman voice class, four years service, 137 bucks and 59 cents a month. And this is what the average veteran of your age is earning in civilian life. 253 bucks and 47 cents. That's $115.88 more than you make, Mac. Why, that's an outrage. That's, that's... Of course, to be perfectly fair, the civilian does have to make uh, certain minor deductions from his paycheck that you don't. Uh, like food, lodging, clothes, higher income taxes, medical and dental bills, and life insurance. Uh, uh, minor deductions like that there. Well, uh, it's only 197 bucks a month. Only. Another thing I uh, forgot to mention was that an airman can increase the size of his check by uh, seniority, advancement in rank, allowances, overseas duty, and flying duty, and as much as six times your monthly base pay for your first re-enlistment. But the civilian still makes more money! Sure, sure, and anyway, the money isn't the important thing, is it, Grogan? It's the job that counts. Brother, you are so right there. Today we find John McRoger, apprentice trial fastwinder, happily at work. Hey, Mac, there you are. Hey, uh, there you are again. Okay, so you're a little lonely. That's natural. Uh, too bad they don't have service clubs for civilians. But wow, look at them fancy duds. Nothing like pride in your appearance. I, uh, I don't know, Grogan. It just doesn't seem quite what I want to do. Look, pal, you can't back out now. Why, why now uh, you take a retirement? Do you realize that as a civilian, you can look forward to retiring at the age of 65 with a cool 85 bucks coming in from Social Security every month? Yeah? Well, in the Air Force, I can retire when I'm 38 and draw down 137 bucks a month for the rest of my life. What are you, a has-been or something? Where do they get off retiring you at 38? It's an imposition. Some imposition. Okay, I decide I don't want to be imposed on. I decide I'm gonna stay in another 10 years. 
till I'm 48. Then they really impose on you. $229 a month. And, and Grogan, I've already got four years start. Well, uh, you can retire on that kind of dough as a civilian, too. Oh, absolutely. All I gotta do is I gotta save up about 90,000 bucks and put it out at 3% interest. A cinch. All right. Yeah, I know, I know. You save 60 bucks a week for 30 years. Okay, okay, so it's ridiculous. I'll admit there's a few good things about the Air Force. Like 30-day paid vacations. And medical expenses and a 10000 buck insurance policy thrown in. And family allowances. And housing. And free education. <laughs> You know something else, Mac? Us guys in the Air Force know more than anybody else in the whole world how to keep these beautiful crates flying. Okay, okay, I've been briefed enough. Let's get going. Yeah, I guess we both know what you want to do now. Right? Right. Look, Buster, if you think you can get by in the Air Force without me, you got yourself another thing coming. Today's timetable. Only one of these trains can get through to Washington. 44 is a single track, you know. Yeah, but Sam, aren't the American people on board the Win the War special? Well, all but a few wreckers. You see that switch, Joe? You've got to sidetrack the defeatist limited. I'm just the guy that can do it, Sam. Look, Joe, you can, if you don't fall asleep at the switch like you did in November of 1942. Asleep! Don't worry about me. They'll have to knock me out first.
right. Oh, my. What happened? Who are you? Not at all. Not at all. Glad you dropped in, my boy. Glad you dropped in. But you're looking a bit peaked, Joe. S.A. Driver Sam's been overworking you. No run down. High production pressure. Relax now. Relax. 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 How was the guy? Oh. Let's talk this over, my boy. According to the papers, you're on the wrong track. It says here that the Win the War special isn't going through. All the workers are on strike. That's a lie. We're out to win the war. War, war! I tell you, this is Roosevelt War! Buddy, after all, Joe, business is entitled to a fair profit during this war. But wages have to be frozen, Joe. The workers are making too much money for their own good. And prices haven't risen very much. Have they, Joe?
and bolt. To get the thing for fighting for, fighting for, fighting for. To get the thing for fighting for, we gotta get out and bolt. the Berlin and the Rome front. The fellow with the bullet is depending on the fellow with the ballot on the home front. Oh, we want to have a better world, better world, better world. Want to have a better world, we got to get out the boat. Marketing facilities, fair price for what a man grows. Gotta get out and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Big business. Vote, vote, vote. All aboard for $200 billion national income. More production, world trade, but no pushing and no crowding. Small business. Protection from big business. Gotta get out and vote. vote, vote. Labor. Job for everyone. Full employment, full production. Annual wage. Good housing. Social insurance. Security in your old age. All aboard! All aboard! There'll be enough for everyone, everyone, everyone. There'll be enough for everyone to bring it out and vote. You want to have security, security, security. Want to have security, you got to get out and vote. They're growing big red apples that Hoover is promoting. If you don't want to sell those apples, start voting, man.